Hello everybody! Welcome to this new jewelry class. In this tutorial I want to show you how to create a cool nail cuff. If you check online you can see that this element has been used by different designers to create jewelry. It's very popular for example the Cartier version of this jewel, but there's also many others. Thanks to the inspiration and the combination of this mechanical element with jewelry this creation becomes a unisex jewel full of personality. Now let's get started. Step 1. Creation of the cuff. We create the cuff using directly the pipe tool in the create section of the top menu. Once selected the tool, select also the plane where you want to create it, in this case the front plane, and choose a point of view perpendicular to the plane. Use the view cube in the top right part of the workspace to choose a better point of view. Now draw a pipe with the center in the origin and set the diameter according to your wrist dimensions. I know that a 60mm of diameter cuff can fit well on my wrist, but of course you can customize your design to make it fit perfectly on you. Use the setting box to set the torus diameter at 3mm. This value represents the diameter of the section of the pipe and 3mm is a good dimension for this particular project and to make the rest of the design proportioned. Step 2. Creation of the details of the cuff. To make the cuff real, now we need to cut away a slice of our pipe. To do it, let's start a new sketch on the front plane and using the line tool draw a sort of triangle from the origin through the pipe with an angle of more or less 40 degrees on each side which means that we are going to create a slice of 80 degrees that will be cut away to allow you to wear your cuff. To be sure to create the slice perfectly symmetric, draw a vertical line and convert it in construction line using the sketch palette. Select then the two oblique lines and select the symmetry tool in the sketch palette, and select in the end the construction line. As you can notice, three symbols are appearing close to the lines. Those symbols represent the symmetry relation that you just applied. Go now to the Create section of the top menu and select the Extrude tool and create an extrusion of the shape we just drawn. Make sure to select X direction two sides and as operation cut. Then drag the arrows until you are sure you are cutting away all the section of the cuff. Step 3. Creation of the nail shape. We refine now one of the two edges of the cup with a fillet to make the edge less sharp. Select the edge and apply a fillet selecting the tool from the Modify section of the top menu. A fillet's radius of 1.5mm is a good dimension to make the edge smoother and with a softer look. Select now the second face of the section of the cuff and use it as a plane to start a new sketch. Keep in mind that you can use every flat surface as a plane to start new sketches and apply new functions. Select then the circle tool and draw a circle of 6mm of diameter with the center aligned with the center of the section. Use now the extrude tool to add some thickness. Select all the elements of the sketch and set a distance for the extrusion of 2.5mm. Use again now the fillet tool to make the edges of the nail head softer. Use a radius of 0.5 mm for this part of the cuff, because we want to make the edges softer but still keep a very defined shape. Step 4. Save your design and export your STL. Now that your cuff is done, let's click on the saving icon and save the design as nail cuff in Autodesk Fusion 360 Cloud. Once saved your file, you can notice that the new name appears at the top of the left menu. Right click now on the new name to open the secondary menu and select save as STL to download your file for 3D printing. Congratulations, now your nail cuff is ready. You only have to 3D print your design and share it with our creative community and don't forget to check out other cool classes on kirakira.com.